welcome back to another estrogen release video i am asia in today's video i believe i started this video off with a montage from my friend arita i've known arita for like eight or nine years we met in college and she turned 25 she is literally one of the sweetest people that i know and you know we went out to celebrate her 25th birthday so i wanted to start this video off by talking actually let me tell you what i'm doing right now Right now, I'm getting ready to go out with my family. I'm about to put on a little makeup to, you know, look appropriate. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, I'm going out with my family, but I thought I would come on here while I was doing my makeup and have a little chit chat with y'all about. So, um, I'm not doing too much with my makeup. I'm literally just going to basically put on a little light beat. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and I'm not a makeup person. I'm not a makeup person. Damn, I'm plucking the crap out of me. I'm brushing the crap out of my eyebrows. I'm not a makeup person, um, but if y'all want me to start letting y'all know the products that I use, let me know. I finally got better products because in my previous Get Ready With Me videos, <laughs> my products were straight garbage. Toilet bowl garbage, okay? So yeah, um, but I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. So basically, I wanted to talk to you guys about quarter life crisis. So we all know about the midlife crisis when you get 50. Maybe I should start talking after I do my eyebrows. No, let me try to talk while I'm doing my eyebrows. So we all know about midlife crisis. You know, once you hit 50, you start questioning life, your purpose, you know, how much more time you have on this planet, what are you gonna do with that time? You know, I'm still trying to get this flip right. But you know, we know about the midlife crisis. Y'all, the same crisis that you have at 50, I feel like you have a touch of it at 25. And let me tell you why. So when I turned 24, I've dealt with sadness my whole life. Just having these moments of just being really sad, you know, trying to figure out what life is really about and all that other cute stuff. But for some reason at 24, it just hit me like, dang, like, this is it. You know, this is what my life is essentially going to be about. You know, waking up, going to work, going home, go to sleep, and then do it all over again the next day. I'm actually flicking that joint right. I mean, it don't look good, but I'm kind of feel like I'm getting the, let me find out talking relaxes me. But um, yeah, you just, you the mundane feeling. I've talked about that in my past videos. Just every day looks the same. Boom, boom, boom. Crap, I didn't put setting spray. This is going to be a very, very chaotic video. I can already tell. <laughs> Yes, I do have my belt on with this. I lost the belt to that. So if you see it, charge it to my head, not my heart. But yeah, where was I? Talking about when I turned 24. So when I turned 25, y'all literally, 2020, baby. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. 2020, I turned 25. Literally, my birthday is on March 10th. March 13th, the world shut down. So... I kind of had all these like ideas of what I wanted to do with my 25th year, you know, when it came to my channel, you know, saving money, uh, finding things that fulfill me, you know, all that, again, cute stuff. But I found myself becoming more and more stagnant and a world, and a world pandemic didn't help it, okay? Like it was just really a very funky time and I'm thankful my family, I didn't have any family members that passed away. No one leave that. Actually, I did. No one close in my family, like immediate family or my extended immediate family, passed away from COVID. No one that I knew, you know, really closely got really sick with COVID. I didn't have that, so I'm so thankful for that. But it was still a very awkward time. Even though working from home and stuff and being here and not having to do anything, that was kind of cool, but it was still a very morbid, awkward time. So imagine that going through, you know, already this sadness of like, is this what my life is gonna look like, you know? So, every time I had this conversation with other 20 year olds and specifically 20 year olds who are over the age of 25, we generally have like the same feeling of like, okay, is this what life's about, like work, go home, go to sleep, and then wake up to do it all over again. And then it's also this overwhelming feeling of like, oh wow, I am actually kind of old. So throw it back to when I was a kid, I have a cousin. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she does, yes girl, I'm talking about you. I was probably like seven, eight years old and she turned 25. 
so you know as an eight year old 25 is like kind of like that's a sexy age you know you go out you can do whatever you want well i thought it was sexy being 25. and so with her complaining about being 25 i'm just like girl you young like you in your 20s you know you have your own place whoop de whoop but actually becoming 25 i completely understand what she went through and i even told her i was like girl i get it like it's really serious and it, i'm being dramatic obviously because that's who I am to a certain extent, but it's real. Like it really makes you feel kind of old. Like you really feel 25. Like out of all the birthdays I've had, I usually don't feel, I mean before 25, I usually never felt my age. But 25, I'm already, I've already said that I feel like a 68 year old in a 20 year old body, but for some reason with 25, it was just like, dang, like am I really, am I really content with my life? And so my answer to that, is that maybe? I might be. I have my moments of being overwhelmed with gratitude. And then I have my moments of being overwhelmed with sadness. So, baby, I'm trying to find the balance to that. Because I don't want to go my whole life being sad. I don't think anybody does. Um, and I definitely am not saying this for to be the victim. Because I am so blessed. Super blessed. God has been tremendously good to me. And his blessings continue in my life. But no, I'm very thankful to live the life that I live. But at the same time, you know, I do have desires and goals. And when those goals and desires don't get accomplished, it's like, okay, baby. What are you, what are you doing with your life? I don't know if that's relatable to some of you folks out there. But I promise you. Every 25 year old that I talk to or 25 and above year old that I talk to, they're experiencing the same thing. And I'm gonna say it again, if I am blurry, I am going to be, cause I'm pouring my heart to y'all right here. I'm gonna be very upset if I'm blurry. I gotta kinda hurry up cause it's my cousin we're riding together. She's gonna be here supposedly at four or 4.30. So I kinda like to be, I don't like people waiting on me so I'm gonna try to move this on along. Y'all, it's something about when you do your eyebrow right, when you do that eyebrow right, it just, it just makes you feel like, baby, I can go out into the world and do some things. I can do some things. But, yeah, I love when an eyebrow comes together. Okay, so, yeah, that was that. You know, that was what that montage was. And my girl turned 25. Happy birthday again. That was in August. Y'all know I don't post my videos in order. But that was in August. So, again, love my girl, Arita. And hopefully we can all thrive and make it to where we want to be one day and be super happy and all that jazz. So, next topic. Y'all, I'm really struggling with time. You know, I'm struggling, obviously, I just said I'm struggling with my age and dealing with that and aging and all the other stuff. But time has really been kicking my butt. Like, I don't understand how you blink and it's already October. This year is basically over. And I don't know how y'all section out y'all years. But the way I section out my years, it's like from February to September is just straight birthday season. Like every every month I'm celebrating a birthday. So that may, basically means every month I'm dedicating at least one weekend to someone for their birthday. And then you add visiting other friends. And then you add events. And then you add, you know, me time. It's just, I look back and I'm like, wow, what am I supposed to do? And hopefully I don't sound too much like I'm complaining even though I love to complain, love to complain, I just feel like it's not enough time. So when I say it's not enough time, I'm realizing more and more that when it comes to time, it's all about sacrifice. So basically, I have to figure out what my priority is for that day. So hands down, I have to go to work. That is about 10 hours of my life, technically 10 plus hours if you incorporate, you know, the time it takes for me to get ready. Then when I get to work, eight hours gone right eight hours you get home I have to figure out if I want to work out cook a meal or edit a video and half of the time it comes down to me editing a video because this is what brings me joy this is what I like to do and this is what I eventually want to do in a more full-time space but it just sucks that I have to figure out okay I have to choose basically my health over my mental peace over money my job you know and it's just crazy that that's how it works i'm just flabbergasted by like everything is a choice and everything is a sacrifice and then don't even bring up the sleep because if i don't get eight hours seven to eight hours of sleep i'm not a normal person so now i have to choose between again working out cooking a meal editing a video or getting sleep like it's insanity and again i'm being dramatic 
But y'all, this is what I'm dealing with. I'm just, I'm being, I'm being front, up front with y'all. This is what I'm dealing with. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to make all this work? And y'all, I'm a single, what if I was, I'm a single white female. <laughs> totally kidding. I'm a single female, right? I have no children. I have no, outside of me going to my grandparents, you know, once a week. I really, I don't have any other major responsibilities other than myself. So if I started add, adding all that other stuff to my plate, what time am I going to have? It's kind of, I don't want to use the word scary because that's kind of extreme, but it's like, dang, like we really have to make a choice in this life. I remember watching women have those conversations about having it all and being able to, you know, juggle everything and being able to, I don't know, be the super woman. And I'm like, I don't know now because I'm actually in my womanhood. I'm realizing that might not be as possible as I imagined it to be, which is pretty depressing. But again, I, I, the way I'm trying to operate and move within my life, I'm really just trying to, I don't want to say stay positive because I hate saying stuff like that, but anytime somebody tells me to think positive, I literally want to think the worst thing ever. But I think it's more so for me just trusting God, you know, and just kind of giving it over to him and you know saying whatever is for me is for me and it's, if it's going to work out it's going to work out if it doesn't it won't you know and that's what i kind of keep saying to myself over and over like i trust you god you know when i feel overwhelmed and i'm like i really don't have time or i'm really tired or i haven't ate a vegetable in a whole week i trust you god <laughs> i trust you god and i hope i'm not making it seem like you know weird or cringy or whatever but it's just like that's what's been helping me so time y'all really 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 has been kicking my butt been kicking my butt please lord don't let me be blurry i realized that i'm almost done this my talking points and i haven't even put on my foundation yet so that's pretty interesting i wanted to talk about the barbie movie too i saw i know i'm super late super 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 late super late let me first say i was not a barbie girl growing up um, my parents didn't really buy me Barbies. I had a whole bunch of other toys, um, that, <laughs> you know, played a part of my wild imagination of being pretty much everything that I possibly, possibly could be. But I don't know if my parents just thought it was too expensive or whatever, but the only Barbie doll I vividly remember was a dollar, a Barbie doll. Hoopla! Look, 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 look. A Barbie doll from Dollar Tree. That's a riddle. But yeah, I had a Barbie doll from Dollar Tree and it used to break. She, her legs used to pop off and stuff. Long story short, I wasn't a Barbie girl. But for some reason, when I saw this movie coming out, I was like, I have to go see it. First of all, it was just extremely aesthetically pleasing. And obviously, because it's pretty much over and done with, that whole movement is gone away. Um, it's already, that was a summer movie, I think. I was just really happy that they brought a certain level of cinematic quality or cinematic commitment to making this movie feel like an experience like I'm all about the experience I want to feel like we're a part of something bigger so corny <laughs> but it's true that's how I want to feel I want to feel is this a good brush for this I don't know I don't care anymore um I want to feel a part of the movie I want to feel a part of the movement but long story short beautiful movie beautiful message I thought that you know Margot Robbie was absolutely amazing and stunning and just she killed it American America Ferreira that monologue baby, 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 baby. of course my girl Issa Rae love Issa Rae it was just an amazing movie and I wanted to show you guys <laughs> this one little thing this has nothing to do with this video. This is kind of, well, technically Barbie wasn't, you know, dealing with an existential crisis. So it kind of ties in a little bit, but I really just wanted to show y'all this. Hold on. So I said I wasn't a Barbie girl, but I don't remember who gave me this. I had a Barbie laptop. Now, for those who do not know, I'm a tech girly hold on my uncle's calling me hey uncle dennis i want to know why did you get rid of my daddy's spoons why did you get rid of my daddy's okay back to the video so again i wasn't a barbie girl i didn't really get barbie dolls and things like that but i did get a barbie laptop 
out. I did get a Barbie laptop and I, again, I don't remember who gave this to me, but y'all, look at this. You can't tell me I wasn't hacking the mainframe with this, like, the spring is kind of broke. I don't know how I did that, but I kept this because I was so obsessed with this laptop as a child, like, y'all, I wanted to be a spy, low-key, so I was always typing away, but this was a really dope computer because it had, like, like knowledge like mind games and things like that and also had like regular fun games so cute 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 but i was just like it's funny that i wasn't a barbie girly but i had this so yeah i just wanted to show y'all that to show that you know i got merch i got merch but y'all life is crazy i can't stress that out to you enough i think i'm going to put another round of foundation on but if i can encourage anybody with anything I would say take one day at a time. You have to take one day at a time. And it, obviously, you know, the idea or the feelings of not being good enough or not being in the space or the place that you want to be in is, I don't want to say is inevitable, but what I will say, it is common. You are not alone. And talking it out makes you feel better. Like me doing this, I just feel like I went through a therapy session because I just got all these feelings that I had inside now it's on the outside but in all seriousness you know take one day at a time you know life is 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 crazy it's a roller coaster and you know if you're here you know you are could you try again girl if you're here and you're alive you are meant to be here things will work out in due time that is how I that is just how I keep moving forward and that is how I plan to keep moving forward as long as God allows. <laughs> but yeah, again, thank you for watching. Well, maybe I should finish my look up before I wrap this video. <laughs> yes, let's finish the look up first. This. 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 Right, goes right, uh, this. This goes like, goes like, uh, this. This goes like, goes like, uh, this, 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 this. this. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.